Welcome, Welcome back, back, Tigers. Ah, that song just gets me going. Really just want to watch a football game now. Anywho, welcome to our first show of the year. I'm Ead Noman. And I'm James Houston. Feels good to be back and experiencing all the school spirit. I really just missed all the traditions we used to do. Me too. Speaking of traditions, Ivy Miller and James Houston got the inside look at what it's like bringing back our school's traditions. Many students at Blue Valley don't know what a normal school year looks like. Students that have experienced a fully normal school year with all of our school traditions have been working hard to bring back a fully in-person and vibrant culture that they have always known Blue Valley High School to be. Senior Sarah Walsh, student body treasurer, has experienced the Blue Valley traditions and understands the importance of them. I am so excited to be back and getting back to our traditions. Blue Valley is so rooted in traditions. I mean, when we were freshmen and we joined, we got, you know, like a whole day, really the first like three days, we learned all about the traditions that Blue Valley has. And so I was really excited to do that as a freshman. And now that was taken away. I think we value it a little bit more because I just think it's so important to the culture we have at Blue Valley. Senior Hadley Way is a new member of Tiger Pride and saw firsthand the role that Tiger Pride has in creating new traditions and bringing back old ones that were lost from our years online. Over the summer we did a conference here at the school and it was pretty much just we learned about um, like new traditions and like new ideas to like start some new traditions which is where the senior sunrise came from. A sunrise like symbolizes like new beginnings and fresh starts and I think that that's what this school year is going to be like especially coming out of like a pandemic. Being on student council Sarah Walsh fully acknowledges the involvement of this activity in all aspects starting off the school year. I think Student Council kind of took a lot of responsibility on with bringing spirit back and bringing traditions back. Obviously we plan homecoming and all the dances and things like that and so I think just in general Student Council had a big part to play in getting everyone excited to come back to school. Sophomore Noah Johnson came in contact with the upperclassmen that have been leading the way to a fully active and in-person Blue Valley High School culture. The upperclassmen, I mean, they like have experienced it before. Um, and just it's just nice and honestly it's it's, it's inspiring to like see because like we didn't get to see that and we like don't know what's going on so we're clueless and we're just like looking over um, but it's nice because like now we're starting to catch on and just we'll be able to continue those traditions hopefully uh, when we leave. Sarah has been very involved in her high school career and has had some great experiences. She has a message for the underclassmen. I would just say to freshmen, this is kind of applies to all clubs and all school activities, is just get involved and go participate. And I know that's really just kind of a blanket statement, but high school is just so much more fun when you're involved and you go to the dances and you get excited to do things like that. Hopefully you can make it out to all of our Blue Valley traditions. With Ivy Miller, I'm James Houston, Tiger TV. Wow, I really forgot about a lot of the traditions we used to do. Some of them are even new to me. I know. One of those is new to me because it's a tradition that only seniors gets to participate in, and I'm glad that it's back. Kate Levison and Mia Yang spoke with seniors about bringing back our super fans into the stadium. Super fans are a long-standing tradition at Blue Valley. They are a way for seniors to get involved with sports and cheer on their peers for their final season as Tigers. Senior football captain Michael Allen is excited for the way super fans will encourage his team. I think just like the atmosphere is going to be really fun to play in and then obviously like the super fans it's going to be really fun in school and stuff and just knowing that you have super fans out there it really makes you want to play even better so. Knowing that people specifically choose to beat their super fans gets Michael and the other players even more excited for game days. Just like seeing your name on someone's jersey like that, your name and number just makes you feel really special because you know that those four or five people are cheering you on and you know, just being in school and you'll walk around and see your name on someone's jersey, uh, it's just really nice to have that support and it'll make this year pretty special. Tiger Pride member Anna Borcherding was in charge of setting up super fans for the 2021-2022 sports seasons. It was extra important to set up super fans this year to show the underclassmen what it's like to have school spirit as a Blue Valley Tiger and how important it is to cheer on our peers. Anna plans to uphold super fan traditions and the roles they play in encouraging school spirit. The purpose of a super fan is you sign up for one senior player, you get a shirt to wear on game days, you give them gifts and care pack packages before games um, to just show your support and be there for them throughout their senior season. Superfan Sophie Davini and all other seniors wear their senior spirit shirt on Fridays to show their Tiger pride. Every superfan gets a shirt that we all wear on game days and then we show up to the games decked out in the theme just so we can like go and cheer for our players. A big role for seniors is taking charge of the crowd and encouraging the Tigers. I'm super excited this year to be a superfan and showing up to the games and ins inspiring my player and really motivating the crowd. 
It looks like the Blue Valley Tigers school spirit will be back and better than ever this year thanks to our super fans. Make sure to come out and support your Tigers and get a feel for the crowd's atmosphere. With Kate Levinson, I'm Mia Yang, Tiger TV. I can't do anything. Okay, you need to try to get like just the tech deck. Just the tech deck. <laughs> With Charlie Weinrig breaking the Kansas State field goal record at a 57-yard distance, we might have to get him something special, James. It's definitely in the works. Don't worry about it. There's definitely some new excitement in the building with all of our new staff members. Charlie Jones and Ryan Barbosa talked to our new athletic director about what it's like taking over the leadership of the athletic department. I love it. Uh, great people, great kids. Um, you know, it just seems like everybody's willing to work together and, and uh, it's, so far it's been a great place to be. Mr. Van Reen is our first new administrator in eight years. After having Mr. Ortman as the athletic director for Blue Valley for so long, Mr. Van Reen has officially taken over the role and is looking to help the athletic department during his first year. The legend, Mr. Ortman. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it's, it, you never want to follow a legend, but in this case I, I did. And, um, um, you know, my, my goal is to keep things as, as smooth running as, as possible um, so that coaches really don't notice that there's been much of a change. Even though Mr. Van Reen has big shoes to fill, he looks forward to helping a successful athletic department become better than ever. So I just, I remember working in other districts and, um, you know, just knowing the, uh, the success and the expectation that Blue Valley has for not only athletics, but for academics. And, um, you know, just the, the reputation that they have for, uh, you know, kind of setting the standard in, in athletics. Mr. Van Reen is highly qualified for this new position, having served as Mill Valley's athletic director the past six years. Through that time, he has developed his own way of doing things and will look to implement his style to help the administrators and coaches continue a standard of excellence in our athletic programs. Um, you know, the message that, I, that I will, I'll get from coaches uh, is that I'm, I'm working with them. You know, they're, they're not working for me. We are working together uh, to make the athletic program as, as good as we can make it. Which, by the way, it's already pretty good. The Blue Valley Tiger family is so excited to welcome Mr. Van Reen to the administrative team, and we look forward to seeing what he brings to the Tiger community. With Charlie Jones, I'm Ryan Barbosa, Tiger TV. You know, I definitely miss Mr. Orman, but Mr. Van Reen seems like the right man for the job. Yeah, I miss him too. He still visits the building, so if you see him around, say hi. Don't you just love being a part of a school that has the abilities to win state titles? Jake Holzinger and Drew Norris spoke at the baseball and golf on their state titles last year. The Tigers ended off the spring season on top. Our baseball team, boys golf team, and individual golf champion Chance Wrinkle each brought home state titles. Since all of these titles were won at the end of the school year, None of these champions were able to celebrate while in school. In this show, we got to speak with head golf coach Alan Terrell, head baseball coach Tony Scardino. Neither coach had to change the way they coached based off the talent they had. They let the players take over and control their own path during the season. I'm not sure how much I coach them in the spring. Matter of fact, I know I don't a lot. I'm not fixing their swing. I'm not changing what they, the way they hold the club or swing the club. Just things like, um, hey, we're two strokes down with uh, three holes to go. Um, the guy that is ahead of you is struggling a little bit. Time for us to be aggressive. No, not at all. Because, I mean, I've always said that our program is the player's team. You know, it's kind of my job to put people in the right position to be successful. And I felt like we had great components to do that. You know, um, is that the best team we've ever had? Probably talent-wise. Now some final words from Coach Scar and Coach Terrell. Thank you for everything. Yeah, you know, last season was awesome. We had, uh, we had fans and students come out because you can follow the golfers on the golf tournament. The parent group. Without them, 
we couldn't achieve what we do. You know, the ability to travel year in, year out. And lots of the guys' friends and family were out there uh, supporting. And of our fans, I'm so appreciative of their support for me to, during that state tournament, and to look out there and, and see the kids that drove down to Fort Scott and how excited they were. It seemed like almost like a PGA event at times. Um, high stress and high stakes. I'm so appreciative of their support. It just made it really fun. I would, uh, I would love it if it was even more so this year. It's always for the kids. It's always for our players. It's always for those students that are invested in what we're doing. I would love it if, if, if we were able to have more people there, um, especially as we go to try to defend our title. For them and for you, thanks for all you did for us last year and every year. Congratulations, Tigers on your great spring showcase last year, and good luck on this upcoming season. With Jake Holzinger, I'm Drew Norris, Tiger TV. Hopefully they can run it back this year. Ian, do you remember what Hall Pass is? Oh my gosh, I do. Roll it. Are you two dating? Yes. No. They are. Yes. No. Am I your type? <laughs> no. Do you pee in the shower? Yes. Every time. Would you date me? Yes. I know what you guys did. What, what do we do? Are you talking about the other night? Do you pee in the shower? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, I don't. Would you guys date me? What? No! N-O! Pass. Are you dating anyone? No. <laughs> I broke up with my boyfriend, though. Are you two dating? Yes. Yeah. Do you guys pee in the shower? No. No, that's weird. Yes. When was the last time you cried? Oh. <laughs> um... Probably like two weeks ago. About what? <laughs> um, I thought my dog was going to die, so. <laughs> Are you dating anyone? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <What>? No. <laughs> Do you pee in the shower? Yes. No. I definitely missed that from last year. I also miss all of the awards we used to hand out to students and teachers. Speaking of these awards, we have the results for our Teacher of the Month brought to you guys by Tiger, Tiger Pride. Pride. Now, without further ado, Mr. Laptad, we'd love to announce you as our Teacher of the Month. Thank you for all of your hard work. Your students definitely see it, and you really deserve this. TikTok challenges aren't the only challenges going on in our school. Alexa Rinkmeyer and Chloe Imhoff spoke with School Store about the challenges they are facing this school year. Here at Blue Valley, students are getting real-world business experiences through the school store. With the nationwide supply chain shortage, they have been challenged to find solutions. Luckily, Ms. Peary's and her students were able to pre-order the apparel for the beginning of the school year. A lot of our apparel in our school store we were able to order in the summer. So we planned ahead, we ordered last year before school was out. So a lot of those items were not impacted. Even though they planned ahead, there will still be some complications with reorders taking nearly double the amount of time from last year. We've been dealing with a lot of issues where people will order apparel that we don't have anymore and we aren't able to get anymore. So that causes a lot of issues between us and our customers and us and our vendors. Aside from the traditional apparel, they have been communicating with vendors to get out custom orders as best as possible. Uh, when we call a vendor to place an order, almost every color is out of stock or they might say, hey, smalls are in, but mediums and large aren't. Through all the troubles, Ms. Peary's and employee, Julia Walsh, believe that this has been a good learning experience for both the school store employees and our community as a whole. It's definitely taught me a lot about keeping open communication with people. Like if we didn't keep any communication with our vendors and the vendors where we lack communication, there's been a lot of issues. We're servicing not only our school here, but also Blue River Elementary. We do all of their spirit wear. And so it's been a challenge even like we can't offer the same brands to them that we did last year. And so it's not only been educating our school community on like, hey, here's a big shortage, but also working with our own clients, essentially. The Blue Valley School Store employees are doing a great job getting orders to customers, even through all the complications that they have faced. This is Alexa Rinkemeyer with Chloe Imhoff.
Tiger TV. That's some tough stuff. But shout out to all the school store workers for continuing to bring us the goods. Hey, Ian, do you know what Avid is? To be honest, not really. To relieve this misunderstanding we have about Avid, Riley Merritt and Molly Hinman were able to get more information about what Avid really is. AVID is a program at Blue Valley where the purpose is unknown to most. AVID, a national program, stands for Advancement via Individual Determination, and it is much more than a college prep class. The AVID teacher for the sophomores and juniors is Ms. Fuller. She is very passionate about helping these students achieve their academic goals and implementing a good family atmosphere into the classroom. AVID is a program oh, that great. would be helpful to anyone who wants to be successful in high school and into college. I love AVID. I love everything about AVID. I think my favorite thing is the fact that all of my AVID students are together for four years. So we really have this family atmosphere. I teach them all four years and they are together the whole time. And so we really get to know each other and we have a really special bond in that class that allows us to really work together and push ourselves to be the best version um, that we can be. AVID provides the students with study skills that they can apply to their everyday school load. It makes them want to work as hard as possible to achieve the best grades. Junior Will Stroud, who is a member of AVID, shares these views. It's really taught me that I'm supposed to um, just focus on taking the right notes instead of running through it, and then I'll be able to look back on those and like study them and do better on my tests. With the family atmosphere in AVID and support from the teacher, it is easy to feel comfortable enough to ask the hard questions because there is no judgment. I love how Ms. Fuller like prepares you for college in the future, and I love how you get to work and collaborate with all the students. Junior Morgan Pikey feels as though AVID is teaching her that she's able to push her limits and excel in harder classes. AVID is pretty important to me because every year your schedule has to have a rigorous class. So that means a class that you think will push you and that is harder. And you can see that you can do the hard classes, that you can do hard things. AVID, overall, though it may be misunderstood, it is a very helpful class for those who participate. So next time you hear someone talk about AVID, think about the work and dedication that is put into it by the students and the teachers involved. With Molly Hinman, I'm Riley Merritt with Tiger TV. That definitely wiped the fog off the mirror for me. Agreed. As probably all of you may know, last year wasn't exactly normal, or whatever that means. Ian and Caden talked to students about what the differences between online schooling and being in person really are. As you all know, last school year was unlike any school year any of us have experienced. With all the different types of learning modes forced upon us, such as virtual, hybrid, and in-person, this made learning last year very unique and different for all of us, but some more than others. Seniors Kaylee Johnson and Marina Golden are two students out of many that chose to be fully virtual last year and their experience not being in person changed a lot for them. I decided to go virtual because I really liked just the freedom of being able to choose when to like go to your Zooms and when to do your homework. Although Marina and Kaylee were in the same situation, they both had different experiences and feelings towards it. I personally really, really liked it. Um, I know I heard of a lot of people saying that they really hated it, but I personally really liked it. Um, I don't know, I may still managed to get good grades, and I thought it was a cool new learning experience. I do really enjoy being back in person this year, though. It was nice. I, it taught me responsibility, because it, it's not very structured, so you did need to do stuff on your own time, so. Many students personally chose to be fully virtual last year, and as we were getting back to normal, many of these students chose to come back in person this year for a variety of reasons. I wanted to experience like the full senior year. I didn't want to miss out on anything. <laughs> so I decided to do that because it's my senior year, and I really wanted to be more involved with the school. That's what I'm trying to do this year, so that's why I, like, I never have been involved with the school throughout like my other years of high school, so senior year I decided, okay, I'm gonna do it. So I'm more involved with the school now and I really enjoy it. As both learning modes have their pros and cons, being back in person this year definitely has more perks and brings more spirit back in our school. I definitely like in person, um, especially considering <laughs> the fact that I just really like being involved with the school and that's something that you can't really do while virtual, not to the fullest extent. After a strange school year for students like Marina and Kaylee, and for all of us as well, this year, being more normal than last, has brought an increase in spirit and involvement and brought our Tiger family closer. 
Tigers, please continue to become more involved and keep on raising the school spirit we know Blue Valley is known for, so we can make the most out of this year and make it a more normal school year for us all. With Caden Lamb Murdoch, I'm Ead Noman, Tiger TV. This is another episode of Hall Path. What is one question that you could ask someone? Uh, no. Why? Just isn't. It's just like milk. Uh, no. Why? Uh, it's cereal. It's just like its own category. Okay, what do you think? It's definitely soup. Why? Because it has liquid and chunks in it. That's soup. Like chicken, okay. chicken noodle soup's a soup. What is one question that you could ask someone? Uh, is pineapple acceptable on pizza? Okay. No, uh, it doesn't work. That, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No. 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 Gross. Why? Because it just doesn't it's taste good. Because you can't pizza. put fruit something sweet on pizza. Yeah, that's just not it. I don't like pepperoni. <laughs> it doesn't belong on pizza. Why do you think that? <laughs> it's just gross. Yeah, same. It's gross. <laughs> no pineapple on pizza. No. Why? Uh, just, it's a fruit. I don't think that's acceptable. Okay. Yes, it is delicious on pizza. It gives us this nice taste that combines all the ingredients together. No, it's not right on pizza. Uh, it is acceptable on pizza because uh, you can pretty much put anything you want on pizza. This is Hall Pass, guys. I know you missed it. Or aren't you glad you're, f nobody's actually glad they're a freshman, let's be honest. <laughs> what is a question that we can ask people? What is one thing that people look weird doing? Um, chasing a ping pong ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rick and Morty. <laughs> uh, sprinting to their car at when school ends. <laughs> um, when you're on a vacation and girls are taking pictures on the beach and you're like watching it happen, it's super cringe. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Making TikToks in class. Filming TikToks. <laughs> Probably like singing in your car while at, like a stoplight. <laughs> Maybe it's like walking weird or something like that. Um, not dressing up for Spirit Week because you should dress up for Spirit Week. Facts. Uh, freshmen running in the hallways for no reason. Okay. Freshmen going to the Blue Valley Tiger Games and not cheering. What are some of your deepest questions? Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. No. Why? Because. I don't know, because to me a sandwich is like a sandwich, yeah. <laughs> not a, cir a cylinder. Yeah, I agree. Um, I believe that a hot dog is absolutely a sandwich, as it is a piece of meat between two pieces of bread. Now let's check out a story about an issue that the teachers really don't have to deal with, but the students really do. Our parking lot. The ongoing parking lot situation in the junior and sophomore lots has been a problem for the last two years. We interviewed Officer Schmidt about the problem. There's a lot of construction going on and we're managing it the best we can and I feel we're getting a handle on it and it's working itself out. He believes there is one solution to improving our parking problem. Just time and patience. Um, I think it's working itself out. We're picking up enforcement and the students and staff are learning appropriate times to arrive in different locations where they can park easier and it's making it um, much smoother. As of now, he is doing a few things to help make the situation better. We are patrolling before and after school, um, monitoring the parking, putting out announcements for the administrators to put out to let them know current parking situations and future projects that's going on around the property. Will and I believe that students can have the best ideas for this problem. Some students had ideas about a parking garage or even removing the freshman football field for more parking space, but Schmidt wasn't so sure about these ideas. The area where there's the most unused parking spots is to the southwest corner of our property. Um, putting up a parking garage there I don't think would help. Um, it'd be much more difficult uh, to maintain and to monitor. The parking situation is one of the main problems of our school right now. The juniors and sophomores having to leave early to get a good parking space and having to rush out of school in order to beat the line can be very inconvenient. We encourage students to help think of good ideas and let Officer Schmidt know about it. For now, only time can tell. This is Gianni Scavuzzo with Will Stroud, Tiger TV. 
Hopefully we find some ways to fix these issues. Otherwise, juniors are gonna end up magically appearing in the senior lot again. Yeah, always confuses me how underclassmen just end up there. It's been a great show, been a pleasure. Make sure to stay up to date on all of our Tiger news around the school. Follow us on Instagram, at BV underscore Tiger TV, where you will find a couple of our Tiger TV members hosting different shows separate from our main one, including Second Take, The Rundown, and Fantasy Jesus, with more to come. Follow at BV Hype Films, run by Cole Dickey and Sarah Gravitt. They bring you hype videos week in and week out. Hope you got all that. Thanks for watching our first show of the year, Tigers. We will catch you on the next one. Once again, I'm Ed Noman. And I'm James Houston. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Tigers. Tigers.